Hello everyone, I'm Ralph DiMaggio Reese V, and this is my co-host Stacy Kilpin and Ross. You're looking good tonight, Stacy. Oh, we got a great show for you guys tonight. We got we're gonna go over some sports, and then we're gonna kind of flow right into something that's gonna blow all of your minds. I can guarantee it, and I would have said it if this was in the news. So here we go. We'll go right over to my my one of my co-hosts here for sports, Bob Costas. Come on over, guys. Here we go. There's Stacy, as you can see, and here is Bob. How's it going tonight, Bob? Oh, good. How are you, Ralph? Well, I'm doing pretty darn good here. Um, well, what did we have in sports tonight? I see you're decked out in your Red Wings attire. Did they play tonight? No, but or no, Ralph. But uh, we had the Rangers and Sharks. The Rangers skated to a four nothing shutout to the Sharks. That was the only thing in the NHL. Then we had an abysmal performance by the Giants tonight against the Eagles. The Eagles came out 27-7 to against the Giants, and their defense went crazy, which I think we're going to shoot over back to you there, Ralph, for a little bit of biopic on that, aren't we? Yes, we are. There. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, we're going back to me there, Bob. Thank you. So let me just put this down for you guys and... I'll tell you how it went tonight for the Eagles and the Giants. So, this was fan made, but I'm gonna we're gonna show it for you guys tonight. Let me show them, Stacy. We got this is usually how the Eagles defense is. We got you know, let me get a close up of this. D fence. Usually that's how their defense is, you know, like they're kinda like defense. They do mm, not very well. So tonight, though, tonight at the Eagles Giants game, we had a bit of a bit of a kind of crazy thing happen. Everyone, it's going to blow your minds. Come right over here, and I think I got word right now. Yep, we have them in studio tonight at the Eagles Giants game. We had the second coming of Jesus. Yes, I. I that's what I'm hearing. He's in studio right now, and I'll show him right to you. The second coming of Jesus. You heard it here on No Budget News, folks. Here he is. That is Jesus' second coming. He has the crown of thorns and everything. Look at him. This is Jesus, folks. Can you even believe it? This is Jesus' second coming. In, in, he's in the manger. This was tonight at the Eagles-Giants game. The, the Eagles' defense must have had some help, like angels in the outfield. But anyway, we're going to turn it back over to Stacy to tell you about some fashion tips. As if your mind wasn't blown enough already by the second coming of Jesus. Well, let me put this down for you. There's Stacy over there. You just listen to her for a minute. Yeah, usually I have, like nail polish and things like that, but um, tonight I have my hair all done up, pink and blonde for everybody. I know how much everybody likes that, so I would give you some tips about it. You just take some per pink dye and you dye your hair pink halfway. It's kind of like Nicki Minaj, because all girls like her, she's a standing role model for all women, I would say. I mean, and if you don't agree, well, fuck you then. Fuck you. Because she sings songs and she does it all really. She just looks good and she's such a, such just a inspiration, I would say. All right. All right, Stacy. Thank you. And now to Kinner. Because Kinner has some, Kinner has some stuff to say about that, uh, that game tonight too. The news was good, but Kinner has some really important words for you guys, you know? Because the Eagles' D went off, so let me just get right into it if I can get this shit set up. Alright, boys. Let's see what I can do for you. Hold on. Need a better chair. Alright, there we go. Now, what?
Well, at least we got to see this. The Eagles defense, second coming of Jesus. At least we got to see this. The Eagles defense, the second coming of Jesus. Bruce, took my ass and fuck me. But, God forbid if I don't say, it was a little lucky. But congrats to him, thanks to Jesus and DeMarco M. Eli with the ball looked like he had Parkinson's. And since when does the defense blow up for the win? At least we got to see this. The Eagles defense, the second coming of Jesus. <laughs> At least we got to see this. The Eagles defense, the second coming of Jesus. So, here we go. Let me get my Rabondo. But next week, it'll be Scuzzo. Did you get that? Kid of fucking all you with his dick. Big as a tic tac. Break you off like a Kit Kat. Don't worry, it's early. I didn't need a win, man. Still a sit with a big grin and. Nays better pray that he gets another 30 from Freeman. Even with one loss, I'm hot, I'm steaming. This week I saw Jesus. Next week, I'll turn into a demon. <laughs> I mean, can I get one loss? And I already see your eyes gleaming. Playoffs! Playoffs! It's still a long season. <laughs> Jarvis talking about playoffs, I already mean. Jeez, fucking course. Crusty, you're VJ. What the hell? Playoffs? Long time for It's kind of cat, but it'll make you look like a pussy. When I win, we can still be friends, buddies. Just know you really can't budge me. Next week, it's so incensed, I'll come in country city strokes, make his voice so grudgy. Yeah, like this. You hear that shit? It's Kenna. Don't worry, boys. It's one loss. We ain't even halfway through yet. But it's Kenna and the Mola blowing smoke.